husband and I bought our first house when I was only 22 years old. That's really young. And at that time, the word mortgage scared me to death. You know why? I didn't know what it meant. So, now I'm a 53 year old, it's been a long time since then, and I still have things that kind of make me apprehensive and uneasy. And so, what I want to share with you today is how I've overcome that and a suggestion I have for you, and that is to arm yourself with knowledge. So now what has made me apprehensive recently is beginning to study the book of Hebrews. You see, in my mind, in the New Testament, aside from Revelation, Hebrews and Romans are both just very intimidating books in my perception, in my mind. Uh, I have this connotation that they're very, very deep, which I believe they are, but that you know, I'm not going to be able to understand them and I'm not going to be able to know what they're about. And so when recently I began to study the book of Hebrews, I thought, okay, what can I do to help myself? How can I arm myself with knowledge? And so what I did was I read multiple introductions to the book, different Bibles that I have, different commentaries, and I just tried to get an overview. I took advantage of someone else's research and understanding and intelligence to help me. And so when I did that, it gave me a great frame of reference. And what I learned and found out is that the book of Hebrews was written to converted Jews, you know, Jews who were practicing Christianity, who believed in Christ, but at the same time were being tempted to fall back into Judaism because they were being persecuted. And so that really helps me now as I read the scriptures in Hebrews that I keep that in my mind, you know, who it was written to and what they were going through. And now, 2,000 plus years later, we all do the same thing. You know, so when we're tempted to fall back, you know, into our old ways, how do we stay the Jesus course? Well, we arm ourselves with knowledge once again. And how do we do that? Well, we do it with the Word. We do it by studying the Word and staying in the Word and being focused on Christ and His example to us and what He calls us to do. And the Word will um, be the truth because it is the truth and it will strengthen us and it will um, shore us up and it will arm us so that when we are tempted, just as the Hebrews were tempted to go back to Judaism, just as I was tempted to be afraid to study the book of Hebrews, just as I was tempted to be afraid of a silly word called mortgage. Um, you know, we all have whatever little fears we have, but if we stay in the word, then we know the way and we know how to stay on course and we're armed and then we're not fearful. So my name is Candy Rice. I am the uh, founder of Living Hope and this is a ministry where I share healing truths that the Lord taught me as I went through depression and as he brought me healing through it. And I'm happy to come speak at any event you're having. Just contact me through email on my website, and that address is candyrice.org, or you can contact me through Facebook as well. And so I hope that this gives you another tool. When you feel fearful about something or apprehensive, dive in. Just arm yourself with knowledge, and you can move forward.